Now, a News 2 I-Team investigation. One Charleston woman contacted the I-Team because she came across cremated remains along the beach at Northbridge Park. Now, strange items wash up on shore all the times, but this story seemed different from others. News 2's I-Team investigator Libba Holland looked into how this could have happened. What do you usually find out here? A lot of oyster shells. I look for different birds that I haven't seen before. Susan Murray and her friend Mark Seastein like to spend their afternoons here on the beach. Oh, just a very wonderful place to relax. You can see pelicans, dolphin, a lot of fish. But Monday's beach walk wasn't very calming. I saw a plastic bag over by that rock. It had a really industrial strength zip tie on it. And I realized I was looking at somebody's remains. Two bags of cremated remains. Each had a tag with a number and read Cremation Services of South Carolina. Police told her to leave the bags. I've never run into anything like that down here before. But they say they couldn't just leave them. That was somebody's family. Well, there's too many kids that come down here and play. Uh, they're just sitting right there exposed. Even if you have cremation remains, you can't just dump them somewhere. And he's right. And there are laws uh, regarding proper ways of scattering cremated remains. Mark Smith with McAllister Smith Funeral Home says he hears stories like this one too often. As we've heard of cremated remains being tossed over a, a bridge and the people on top of the bridge didn't notice a boat below. Uh, we've certainly heard of stories over the years where urns have washed up at the beach. So he says let the crematory know if you plan to spread the remains and the staff can help you. Uh, and there's lots of different options with the biodegradable urns or even having the cremated remains in a biodegradable bag so that they could be placed into the earth or into the water. Also, make sure you check with your town, city, county, or even state about where you're allowed to spread the remains. The Environmental Protection Association and National Park Services have rules you need to follow. If you're going to scatter cremated remains out to sea, that it's supposed to be three nautical miles offshore. In the end, though, Susan and Mark's story comes full circle. Mark called the Cremation Society of South Carolina, who found the funeral home where the remains came from. Now, at any point, were you a little bit creeped out? I'm a nurse. <laughs> at this point, no. Both bags are part of the same family, and the funeral home is in touch with the relatives. And these two hope the next time they visit the beach, they only find shells and fish. Pulled up a lot of cast nets out here, but never anything that's, you know, unusual like that off the wall. Statistics show that cremation is becoming increasingly popular in part due to the cost of it. It's cheaper than burial. So if you'd like more information about the cremation process, you can find it on my story online on countonto.com.